I mean, I'm f I like the duel for spot idea because let's say somebody comes to your spot and they want to duel and they win, right? Like ultimately they're they're the stronger, more I don't know, you know what I mean? More deserving player of the of the spot you're grinding. I don't think anybody that has a spot should feel like entitled to like, hey, I was here first, this is mine, right? Um, it's kind of a ridiculous standard, to be honest, is my thought. I mean, it seems to be one of those things where it makes you question if people really not evolve past the mentality of I'm stronger than you, so I should get something that's yours. Basically what they're saying is, I'm going to take your spot, but I'm going to try to pretend to be nice about it. So, my thoughts on it are, don't be a pussy. If you want the spot, take it, but don't try to act as if you're being nice about it. You're not doing anybody any favors. What's up guys, today we're going to be delving into one of the most controversial topics in all of the BDO community at the moment, which would be dueling for spot. There seems to be a large divide amongst the community on this topic, and this is going to be a video dedicated to looking at both sides of the discussion, as well as getting your opinions on the matter. Once again, I want to say that this is an open discussion. Feel free to make as many comments as you like about this topic, and hopefully we can all come to an understanding of one another. Now the basis of this discussion is the argument whether or not dueling for spots should be respected as the standard way for two players to solve a dispute over a grind spot. There are essentially two sides to the debate, with each side having varying degrees of extremism. These two sides are going to be referred to in this video as the left and the right. The right side believes that dueling for spot is the best way to resolve a dispute over a spot and the left believes that spot should be decided on a first come first serve basis. For the sake of argument, I will be representing the right side, which happens to be the side I agree with the most. In tangent, I will use comments from other players who lean more on the left side to get a greater understanding of their position for both myself and you guys. I also want to say that while this discussion may be made in a general sense, it mostly concerns late game grind spots like Aquaman and Histria that are highly contested by players that have a bit more experience in the game and also have stricter PvP penalties. So argument one for the left is that dueling for a spot is not a fair solution to the issue due to class imbalances, gear disparities, and things like that. This argument can't really be disputed in my opinion. That's an objective statement. There are many things outside of a player's skill that goes into winning a 1v1 that I'm sure most people who play BDO will agree with. The only problem is that BDO as a game is not fair for these very same reasons. Some people fail pen 90 times and some people get it in one attempt. We all know that BDO is not a fair game as a whole, so expecting a fair solution to an issue like this is a little hard to get behind. A better question would be to ask what is the most fair way to solve the issue. I had a conversation with a well-known and respected streamer named Big and Shiny who leans towards the left. He suggested rock, paper, scissors, to which I agreed would be an absolutely fair alternative to dueling, but the problem is that there is no way to fairly do a rock, paper, scissors match within the confines of the game. Therefore, we must come up with a more fair solution, and no one can come up with one other than just leaving the spot. Now, leaving the spot is certainly the most kind solution, but is it the most fair? Well, let's look into it. The player who has to leave the spot may very well find a spot shortly thereafter, but what if he doesn't? What if this player has no other spots available and a very limited time to play the game? Now he has no chance to progress because he was being kind. That in itself is very noble and in a perfect world, this kind of thing would be commonplace, but unfortunately we do not live in a perfect world and one person's time is not any more or less valuable than the others. 
the most fair way to settle such a dispute would be a way that allows both sides the possibility to win decisively. No other solution in BDO allows this sort of thing other than dueling. The next argument from the left is no one is entitled to a duel. This is 100% correct. No one is entitled to a duel in the same way that no one is entitled to a grind spot. No one is required to follow these player made traditions and can follow or disregard them as they see fit. So while you can deny a duel from a person, they have all the rights in the world to kill still your rotation and ruin the grind for the both of you. The next argument is, if you really want the spot, use the features implemented into the game to facilitate that desire. This essentially means if someone denies or do a request, you should flag up or GVG or kill still. So let's go over the pros and cons of each of these options for both players. When it comes to flagging, we all know the karma system in this game is extremely one-sided and gives more benefit to the victim rather than the attacker. This is especially true in Aquaman and Hysteria where getting killed after flagging means being sent to jail, effectively halting your progression to an arguably slower than just not flagging in the first place. You can say go to Arsha, but that's a bad idea for 99% of the player base for multiple reasons that I'm not going to get into here. You can say don't die, but that's also a terrible argument because you have to not die while also trying to grind for what could be an eternity depending on how many players attack you because you have a big red X on your name. At the end of the day, flagging will almost never be a viable and reasonable solution for the attacking party, so let's move on to GVG. Now, GVG doesn't have the negative of karma loss and both players can kill each other until their heart's content. The only problem is that in late game grind spots, you have no choice but to use an alien's tier to revive. Once again, the left will use the argument here of don't die, but even if the attacker doesn't die, the victim still has to use his pearls, which leads to Pearl Abyss winning in the end and none of us want that. That, right so the last option is to kill still kill stealing is typically frowned upon but is an option that most will go towards when a request for dueling is declined and it is a solution that has a loss for both sides of the interaction and losses for both sides is something that should be avoided at least in my opinion it's always better to lose on one side than both that's why when I lose duels, I leave immediately without a speck of contentment. But when I get declined to do a request, I feel slighted because now we both have to suffer a long drawn out battle of attrition when we could have just solved the situation as equals within two minutes. So let's, let's go deeper into the losses. As I stated earlier, it's worth for both players to take a loss and once again I think that all level minded people can agree with that, but the left argues that only the player who was at the spot first has something to lose in the duel for spot scenario, which is not true at all. The person who was there first may have bus running and may have been there for hours, yes, but the person who came to the spot requesting a duel may have just lost the duel and now has to look for a new spot. He may already have his buffs running as well and you're now you're essentially telling him to wait another 15 minutes before he can grind efficiently. So how is that not losing? Both parties have something to lose and that's why dueling is the most fair way to lower the losses. The final argument that I'll discuss from the left is that dueling is not respectful but instead a blatant disregard for someone else's progression in time. And that I say I can disagree wholeheartedly. I believe that requesting a duel is the exact opposite of disregard for someone else's progression. It's acknowledging that the other player has just as much a right to be there as you do and that his or her time is just as important as yours and respecting that fact while at the same time the person who is receiving the duel request is understanding that this person is willing to come to a middle ground on this situation and find a way to solve this issue with a modicum of decency. It's almost as if the left would find it more respectful and prefer that the requester of the duel just forego that step entirely and just start kill stealing all the mobs that they can. Would that really be a preferable solution? I can't say I would agree with that at all. But what do you guys think? Comment below on your thoughts and opinions and let me know if you have any other discussions you'd like to have about BDO. Peace.